I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet because there's really nothing too particularly uh, intricate with this particular system when it comes to customization and loadouts. Um, not yet, anyways. And keep in mind, I'm just... Um, I think I'm level 6 or something now. I had the opportunity to create new characters and uh, make a new loadout uh, probably like two levels ago. I think you can access that at level 4. But I just kept playing and um, this is the first time I'm actually going to jump in, make a new character, uh, a new class, as well as um, show you a little bit of what the loadout mechanic looks like as well as the customization of your weapons which is pretty much what you found in the um, Metal Gear Phantom Pain um, pretty similar to that and because I'm an equal opportunist I'm going to make a female character next and it's just you know I'm just not going to um, bore you to death with this stuff maybe randomize it a little bit uh, you are probably pretty familiar with this already by playing the single player campaign. Okay, this looks uh, fine. One thing I'm a huge fan of that you don't really see in too many multiplayer games nowadays, but you do see it here in Metal Gear Online, is that they do uh, take your weight into consideration. They always have. Um, so if you want to bring a heavy machine gun and really pile it on, stack it up in terms of items, you can do that. Uh, but at the cost of movement speed, um, if you want to strip down uh, to optimize your speed so you're able to get around the map in a more um, hasty manner, you can do that as well. I don't think, uh, from the way it appears, that the actual gear, um, you know, your vest, uh, your hat, your mask, things like that, are uh, defined by weight. But as far as items, guns, and things like that, uh, stuff that's going to be in your loadout, with the exception of your perks, yes, that is uh, taken into account. As you can see, there's two slots that um, I don't think I can use yet because I have to unlock them with progression. Um, that's how um, many games work. You have to progress in order to get better perks. And this is the perk system, by the way. Um, you can actually rank up uh, your perks, um, but once you do, the perk as you can see this one has two stars these have one the ones with two will take up two slots um, but you are more effective uh, in terms of that particular perk and what it offers quick example demolition one star you have uh, more explosive damage demolition two stars you have more explosive damage as well as being able to toss a grenade at your death I'm assuming that you are going to be able to bring more items into the battlefield as you level up. At the moment, I can only equip one. I haven't tried the plushy snare yet. I'm sure you've all already seen videos of that. But this starts to open up and expand the more you level up. More guns, um, etc. You get the idea. I don't agree that the Scout is the best class to pick if you are just starting this game. If you are a beginner, I think it's the middle of the pack, the second option. Um, the Infiltrator is very deadly. Uh, all these classes, uh, you know, are effective. Here's the thing though, if you're going to be a Scout, you really need to know uh, how to use a sniper rifle. You really need to be aware of your surroundings and mark enemies, you know, PTFO kind of thing there. and if you're a noob, I don't think that's where you should start. Um, unfortunately, if you're just starting a little bit late, just like in any multiplayer game, you're kind of playing catch-up. You're playing catch-up with people that already have a lot of the perks unlocked, a lot of the weapons unlocked. Uh, so with that taken into account, I don't think that the scout is maybe the best way to go about it if you're just starting out. That's just my personal opinion, and um, you know, take that with a grain of salt take it one step further scouts tend to be a little more squishier in this game they don't have as high of a threshold in terms of damage as this demolition man here um, so I don't know anyways people were wondering about the customization if this is going to be pay to win up until this point I've seen nothing like that you can only pretty much pay for exclusive types of um, skins with the MB coins um, again I don't know if it's just the color scheme, if it's also going to be items. Up until now, I haven't seen any kind of sign of that, and hopefully that's going to stay the case. By the way, it's the Enforcer class, not the Demolition Man. I just call him that. I apologize. Let's just quickly shift back to the Infiltrator class. 
if there were a couple of things I could tell the developers right now that need to be addressed or I think needs to be addressed or at least looked at it would be the infiltrator class and uh, I don't know the walker for example okay now let me break down why I think the infiltrator class uh, needs to at least be taken a look at I have no problem with the perks that the infiltrator has the cloaking ability none of that this is a class that wants to stay off the grid but also has a godlike arm okay a reach like inspector gadget and that's just not a good thing uh, all these elements combined with this kind of reach makes for some frustrating gameplay or some really awesome gameplay it depends on which end of the spectrum you're on you remember a time when everyone was frustrated that in call of duty you could get these extreme knife kills from extreme distances well, imagine if you could also cloak while having that kind of reach. Look, I have no concerns about the Infiltrator class. Do not touch the Infiltrator class in terms of perks or any of that. But they are suited to stay off the grid, okay? They have a cloaking ability. Pretty much, they're always going to get a drop on you before you get a drop on them if they're playing it effectively. Combine that with this ridiculous amount of reach where they're able to reach out and touch somebody before you're aware they're even there. So the reaction time, everything comes into play. I just need the, I, I just think, the, excuse me, I just think they need to address this kind of reach. Nothing about the classes uh, or the perks. I'm not asking them or trying to affect that in any way, shape, or form. The reach is ridiculous. Please, just take a look at it. That's all I'm asking. Look at it.